Today might be fun. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. So a couple of weeks ago, a company called Diversified Power, who distributes the Gas Stop product, reached out to us to see if we'd like to be brand ambassadors. And we said, sure, we'll take a look. We'll uh, we'll check out what you got. I've heard of Gas Stop before. Uh, if you've never heard of Gas Stop, Gas Stop is a device that you basically attach to your propane tanks. And if you ever have a catastrophic um, I guess cut in your lines or leak, maybe in an accident or something like that, the gas stop will automatically turn your propane off. So I thought it would be fun to test the gas stop. Let's see if this actually works. There's no reason for me to actually put it on my propane tanks if it, I don't even know if it works. So I've never seen anyone test these things. Let's get started. Okay, so how are we going to test this gas stop without cutting up our propane lines. Well, I've got a perfect way. This is my weed killer here. This is a, uh, the website says this is one, a half million BTU uh, propane torch. I do use this to clear weeds sometimes and uh, to burn brush and it's just fun to have sometimes. Call me crazy. But as you can see, we've got it hooked up to a 20 pound propane tank. I'm going to show you what happens. Now, when I light this, obviously it's going to start uh, it'll be well under the 75,000 BTUs that the gas stop engages at. So the gas stop will engage at 75,000 BTUs output and it will cut everything off. But before that, you'll see, I'll, let me go ahead and light it up here. All right. So you'll notice this is well under 75,000 BTUs. But if I pull the trigger, that changes real quick, okay? So what we're going to do here is I just showed you what happens when I pull the trigger without the gas stop. You can see no gas stop right here. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Now, let's put the gas stop on it and see if it'll cut this thing off once it surpasses 75,000 BTUs. Okay, so the gas stop is ridiculously easy to install. Basically, um, all I'm going to do here is just take this off and it's opposite threads here so always remember that if you've got a, a propane fitting that goes inside it's a opposite threads all right make sure I'm closed I am okay there's that now all we do is we pop this on here give it a good tighten just hand tighten this that's fine and then we're gonna go back in and plug our torch back up remembering to go reverse threads reverse threads is always weird to me I don't know why I just don't deal with it a lot Very important when we open this back up it's very important that you prime the gas stop so what we're going to do is we're going to press down on this four or five times to prime it and you'll notice you hear that sound one two three four okay now i'm primed and ready to go let's see if it works okay our gas stop is hooked up ready to go I'm going to turn the torch back on. Let me see if I can get this thing going one-handed. There we go. Okay. So look, the gas stop is letting us use propane, right? So if our water heater's on or our uh, furnace is on, we should be good to go. Now let's see what happens if it uh, starts, if it has, let's say it had a catastrophic failure. I'm holding the trigger down still. Still holding the trigger down. That's it. So it stopped the propane. All right, I'm impressed. Now, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna let you watch this gauge as I press the trigger this time. So we'll check that out. 
All right, you guys can see the gauge now. I'm going to do it all that over again. All right, so there's my regular, you know, I don't know, 35,000 BTU furnace. And now we have a catastrophic failure. I'm pulling the trigger. Pulling the trigger, still pulling the trigger, still pulling the trigger. That's it. Cuts it right off. I'm impressed. Okay, friends, so no-brainer install here. The only thing I had to do was rotate my bottles in a little bit so my cover will fit back over. Um, obviously, I'm adding probably a good three inches here on the outside of my fitting here, so it would be tougher for me to get my black cover back over the bottles. But you turn them in like that, you tighten it down good. These are super secure now. They're not going anywhere. I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah. That's a no-brainer, and they work. We know they work, and so we're not wasting our time here. This is a nice little safety net. If you are interested in the gas stop, go to, I'll link it in the description box below, go to diversifiedpower.com, and uh, in the checkout, you can put in the code WONDER10, and they're going to give you 10% off. So we appreciate that from those guys over at Gas Stop. I hope you found this useful. Like I said, nice little safety net. See ya.